Christmas is talking in here. This is the last week at school before Christmas. So this week I'm going to show you how to draw Father Christmas. Let's make a start. We're going to start by doing an oval for his face. So make sure you do a nice big oval. Join it up back up at the top. And then we're going to start with his nose. He's got a big red nose because he's very cold. So not quite halfway, just a little bit higher up. We're going to do a small oval. And underneath we're going to do his moustache. So we're going to draw some curvy lines going out and then around. And the other side we're going to do exactly the same. So we're going to go up, curves, big round and join it up under his nose. And then we're going to do his beard. Now he's got a big white beard, so we're just going to draw two lines going up the side, one there and one there. Then we can do his eyes, two lines for his eyes and then his mouth. So we're going to do a small rainbow shape and then a small curve to join him up. Then we're ready to put the fur on his hat. So we'll do the white fur next and the red hat on top. So we're going to start by doing a curved line over his head and down the side. And then we're going to do another rainbow shape, just a bit smaller, going up and down, and then another one on top of that. And then at the top, we're going to do the pom-pom on the top of his hat. So that's his red hat with the white fur and his big beard. And then we're ready for his tummy. Now, he's been eating a lot of mince pies, Father Christmas, so he's got a very big tummy. So let's start by drawing some straight, well, almost straight lines down, but with a bit of a curve so you can see his tummy. So we're going to draw one going at that side and one going at that side. And when you get to the bottom, we're going to join it together in a slight curve. And then we're going to put the fur on the bottom. Because his red jacket's got white fur at the bottom and white fur on the sleeves. Then we can go back up and start his arms. We're going to do a curve coming out the side here and then we're going to join it up to his body there. Then we'll take that line round to do some more white fur on the edge. And we'll do exactly the same on the other side. So we're going to do a curve coming out that way, coming in and then doing his white fur on the edge. And then we're ready to draw his black mittens to keep his hands warm. So draw his thumb and then the rest of the mitten. On the other side, draw his thumb and then draw his mitten. And there he is. Now we're going to put his belt around the outside. He's got a black belt with a gold buckle on. So a curved line. So you can see that his tummy's curved. Another one underneath. Join it down the side, join it down the middle to make a rectangle and then we're going to draw a smaller rectangle in the middle to finish off his buckle. Okay, and then we're going to draw some a white line going down the middle because that's the fur going down where his jacket joins. So where it joins up he's got some white fur as well. So we'll draw a line going all the way down the middle. Forget the belt, so lift your pen over and then down. And then we're drawing one line on one side Lift your pen up and over, and exactly the same on the other side. You'll draw it down, lift your pen up, and come down. So you've got his white fur on there. Okay, now we're ready for his legs. So he's got red trousers with again with some fur on them. So we will start by doing the lines either side. We'll draw his shoes and then we'll put the trousers in behind. So just draw a straight line there and a straight line there. Then we're going to stop. We're going to think about where the middle is and we're going to draw his boots. He's got big black boots on. So just like we've done lots of times before, we're going to draw some burger bun feet. So we draw the burger bun on the top and then the beef burger or the hamburger or cheeseburger, whatever you like. And then, because they're boots, we're going to do some bumps on the bottoms of the grips so he doesn't slip in the snow. And then exactly the same on the other side. So that rainbow shape for the top of the burger, around the bottom of the burger, put the burger in and then the curves on the bottom for the grips so it doesn't fall over. There he is. Now we know where his trousers go. So we can draw the line there, 
draw the line there, join it up in the middle, and then we can go and do that line up the middle where his trousers are. Okay. Now, he wouldn't be Santa if he didn't have any presents. So we're going to draw a great big bag of presents. So in his mitten, he's going to hold the top of it. So we're going to draw a zigzaggy triangle, like a folded umbrella in his hand. And then we'll draw all the lines coming down. And then a big circle shape, big curve. There we go. Now, because it's made of sack material, we're going to do what we did on the scarecrow. We're going to draw some lines and then some hatch lines so you can see what it's made of. There we go. And then we're going to write on the outside toys. Now, let's start with a T, the O, the Y, and the S. And there he is, Father Christmas, all ready at the North Pole, ready to deliver the presents. And I hope he comes to your house. I hope you've all been good this year, and I hope you all get to see him. Happy Christmas, everybody. And I'm going to, now, this is my last video of the year. I'm going to see you all in the new year. So have a lovely time off, and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye for now.